Chris Michael here, key level trader, watching UAL this morning, United Continental Airlines. Pretty weak compared to the rest of the market. Market is at its highs. Uh, UAL sitting right down near the low. Looking to go short here at 2220, 2300 shares. And if that order triggers, I'll be back. The stop's going to be 2225. Okay, we were in here at 2220 kind of hoping it would go right through that it did not so I'm going to get this stop in right away 2300 to 2225 so if we come back and we don't keep going down I'm going to be out of this trade I'm not sure why this is down I did look up some news to see if I could find something that would uh, point to this thing moving lower but uh, I didn't find anything so for the moment it's uh, just working a little bit early in the trade 10 minute candles you're looking at here and if we can get down and take that low out that would be great 2207 got a long way to go to get there though so as this trade develops I will be back okay real quick update guys we're, we're back uh, to the low here oh, the recent low at least 2213 12 uh, with that I want to go here and get myself out of this trade even should it come back you, know, you hate these reversal candles that uh, kind of you know you get filled to go down and then they come right back up again or well, if we can get to this 2207 low I think we're going to be looking pretty good here uh, right now I have nothing at risk in fact I'm going to pull this in even just a little more to ensure I got nothing at risk worst case I'm out of here at 46 dollars uh, yeah 46 plus and uh, let's see if we can break down through this 2207 low quick look at the whoops quick look at the overall market gapped up came down and rallied right to the high and you can see while that's doing that UAL is just sat right down near the lows the entire morning here so that was the premise by which I took it on the my 130 minute daily significant breakdown here got nothing going on here um, I let's see how far this probably would be support if it was going to be down here 2158 again a long way from where we are now so I got plenty of room there again was looking for something to point to why this is falling but you know at this point I don't really care okay so right now we're in we're up about 225 270 now trying to get down through that 2207 low and if it does break through that and, and it keeps on going great if that low seems to hold and I'll adjust that stop accordingly okay we broke that 2207 low and next stop is 22 even see if we can't get through that 22 even my stop remains at 2218 I think I'm going to tighten that up a little bit right now I've been giving these things too much wiggle room I'm going to go to 2215. I got $100 locked in. 10 cents from where we are. I've seen it happen before, so I got I'm not counting any chicken here until it's completely out of its egg. All right, I'll be back as this continues to develop. Okay, now down near the low of the day, 20 just passed through 22. And with that, I'm going to go over here. We're up 500 and change right now. I'm going to go to uh, 2210 stop locking 230 in place 2210 is the highest candle so the current 10 minute candle let me zoom in current candle is six minutes old right now so if that was to become a reversal candle and move back up we're going to get out I'm keeping a tight leash on this one volume volume was pretty good early on kind of dried up with the consolidation which is good and we just got a nice spike down so I'm, I'm looking looking good as far as volume is concerned now a couple more of these large candles uh, volume would be really nice at the low at 621 up and for you guys that have watched these videos before there's another line down here it's roughly at 2150 um, again I'm not going to speculate whether we're going to get there or not market continues near its high of the day so this is relatively weak so maybe we got a shot at it we'll see good time I have a, a couple of minutes here I wanted to show you folks 
this is one of the scanners I use it comes with TradeStation and basically it scans the market based on the preferences that I tell it to look for and each time the scan runs it saves the results for me so I can look at it and see you know I can go back and see if I see a stock at the end of the day that I missed trading I can go back and see if the scanner picked it up and perhaps I just missed it on the scanner but as you can see here UAL showed up here at 1040 and that was right there as you can see so when you trade it's really vital to have a scanner that's you know tracking stuff live for you rather than having a in my opinion at least anyway rather than having a watch list so to speak because watch lists tend to give you too many things to look at and too many things to to try and keep track of it's so much easier when you can just have a scan that's running for you live and presenting you with the results of exactly what it is you told it to find for you. So I just wanted to point that out. Another tool that I use. We're up 725 right now. I will keep you posted. Okay, we're moving along here. People, I got uh, stop. I'm going to change this from 2205 to 22 even. Pretty much going to lock in about 500, just shy of 500. We're now down near the low of the day. Um, let me switch over here. I'm going to pull in my. Uh, my market chart pretty much near the high of the day so continue to see some significant weakness in UAL right now or right now all morning so far and um, still gonna hold on to this let this guy run objective is 2150 if I'm not mistaken let me just quick yeah about 2150 I'm gonna probably try and cover this if I, if I should get down that low at 2155 just above that number depending upon how fast it's moving when we approach. Okay, again, right near the low here, 21.75 is the low. Penny away from that. I'm going to go get my stop uh, pulled up here. 21. Oh, let's go to 21.90. If it really rallies back up to there, I definitely don't want to be in it anymore. 21.90. And sinking to this 21.75 low. Let's see, is that 2190 okay with me? Yeah, that's almost a high of that last 10 minute candle. That would be almost a complete reversal of this last 10 minutes. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cancel my stop order and I'm going to cover this at 2153. It's about 10 cents away from where we are right now. And let's hope this is not one of those torturous situations let's just get down there and get out of this trade you can see this blue line here is uh, I don't know can you see that blue line yet let me tighten that up a little bit this is the uh, the level from Friday uh, no yeah Friday today's Tuesday and as we approach that that'll come into view we're now four cents away from getting this order covered Lower today was 57. Let's see if we can't just get this punch down in here. Market's still near the high of the day. So obviously that's not helping me in here, but uh, it's actually it really hasn't done too much to hurt this trade so far. I have a manual stop at 2180. Should that occur, I'm just going to close this at 2180. Right now up about 1200. Okay, a penny from the lower today here. I got two, three cents to go to get out of this trade. There's my order, 2153. Boy, it came down as low as 2155. This is going to be another one of those painful, drawn out closes here. This is going to be a pain in my ass. Move back over to the matrix here. You can see here's the order is right here. 2157 currently. And if we can just, oh well, boy amazing when you get close to this cover how it just seems to slow down there you have to understand this is where that that level is that key level is right down there and that's that's you know I always say that these levels are first and foremost resistance on the upside and support on the downside so as you approach that that's why you get these what seems to kind of just stall there but I'm gonna be patient as I always am again if this does come back up to I think even 2175 now I'm going to ditch it. This high here is 2168. 
maybe even 2170 we'll see got my finger on the trigger for 7 2170 if it doesn't take me out at 2153 only got oh boy I'll tell you absolute torture we are now three cents away from getting covered here two cents away we're right at the low of the day 2155 is that low and if I could just get that two cents I'm going to close this trade out if it goes back to 2165 I got my finger on the trigger manually to do that so I'm either going to be out of this trade with 1250 plus or 1500 pretty much on the nose 1500 not going to have one of those situations where I wind up leaving 500 on the table again right here at the low of the day 2155 is that low it's just hanging in there this moves back to 2165 I'm closing it out that would be 1250 in the bank you can see right here 12 just 1265.58 would be what it would be worth if I close it at 2165 really want to see this trigger though I want to get this sort of filled through the limit order and pocket 1500 for, for a Tuesday morning and there we go we are out of the trade finally fifteen hundred dollars and you can see how we went from second level down showing actually that's the third level down I'll light that up later on this is the third level down from here to here is two percent guys from here to here is three percent we just took out this order with a three percent gain on a fifty thousand dollar trade that's fifteen hundred bucks excellent trade I'm very happy with that particularly that it's Tuesday morning and I still got three days this week okay folks I'm gonna wrap this, this uh, video up uh, just to recap we saw UAL sell off pretty hard here consolidated right along my third level down now that I have it all let them lit up correctly third level down from here to here is two percent from green down to that blue line is three percent and exactly what we hoped had happened did happen broke through the 2220 number and just 40 minutes straight just continue to sell off that's that's like a dream trade that's that's the ones you you'd literally dream about anyway worked out really well for me I'm happy about it obviously and um, hope you enjoyed this video hope you learned something from it uh, any of you guys that are looking to day trade send me an email through the website that would be great and I'll uh, see if I can hook you up with some training. And if not, you're just interested in watching these videos for the entertainment of it, that's cool too. Hope you did enjoy it, no matter how you looked at it. And I will catch you in the next video. Thanks again for watching.